2022 marks the 70th anniversary of the ascension of Queen Elizabeth II to the throne as Queen of England. She is the longest serving monarch in history. It's an amazing story. Uh, a young lady who became queen when her father, King George, died uh, prematurely. And she, is, as a very young lady, became the, the queen. Uh, the story of all of that is amazing. Uh, when you know the story of the Windsor family, uh, her father was king only because his brother, Edward, had abdicated the throne because he wanted to marry an American divorcee. And this was in the late 1930s, and it was at a time when the queen consort in England could not be divorced. And so there was an issue of morality there, which then led to his leaving the, the throne, his brother George becoming king, and now Queen Elizabeth. So when you think back 70 years to the very time she became queen, but further back, as to how she even got lined up for that, and you realize the significant change in the world, in morals, in ethics, in social and cultural issues, uh, just in 70 years alone, we have gone through dramatic changes, and yet this one woman has been steady on the throne, doing her duty as she had pledged when she became queen to serve her people for her entire life. Now, she recently came down with COVID, She's in her 90s. Her husband, Prince Philip, died last year. But she is a revered and loved and respected lady and head of state. When you start to think about her life and perhaps what it would be like when she is gone, what that would mean, it's a, it's, it is a significant thing to realize. Her crown, her throne, the House of Windsor, the, the kings and queens of England, they have survived scandal, um, immorality, they have uh, incompetence, corruption, and good kings and queens as well. And her queen, her, 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 uh, her reign, Queen Elizabeth's reign, has been marked as a high point in, in many ways, while there still have been dramatic changes in Great Britain and the rest of the world. But to think of her being gone, and it's a reality that people are beginning to talk about, and we'll, uh, we'll be talking about as events regarding her 70th anniversary are unfolded over the coming weeks, it is something to consider without her, what that would mean. There are certain pillars in our world that do count, that do matter in terms of, of the way things are and the way things are run. And in a sense, a queen who's been on the throne for 70 years is a major thing. There's a proverb that talks about uh, the king, and in this case we could apply it to the queen, it's in Proverbs 25, where it says, It is the glory of God to conceal a matter, to search out a matter is the glory of kings. And a good king or queen will search out a matter, and, and by reigning and ruling properly with a good example and all, they will search out a matter to the point of having a glory for their reign, but also for their people. And verse 3 of this uh, chapter says, As the heavens are high and the earth is deep, so the hearts of kings, in this case a queen, are unsearchable. When a righteous, God-fearing, well-meaning individual occupies such a position as Queen Elizabeth II does, then their heart, their duty, their role can have many, many different benefits. But there's something deeper even to consider about the, the monarch of Great Britain. And there are prophetic implications and worldview implications for her and her position that need to be discussed, which I plan to do in some future BT dailies, and we will with articles in Beyond Today magazine. But suffice it to say, she's a world figure, and her throne may be far more important to Great Britain and to the world than most people realize. And it's something to note and to think about as her 70th anniversary of her reign unfolds before us. That's BT Daily. Join us next time.